Hey, I'm Myers, and I uh, want to talk to you about this CD. Uh, on this channel, we don't really talk about CDs, but uh, the reason for this is this band, The Loose Rails, they came to King's Court in 92, and uh, I bought their cassette way back then. Um, I don't have the cassette right now because that uh, got eaten by a tape deck and destroyed like a lot of my cassettes did back in the day. Uh, several years ago, I found this CD at Roadrunner Records in the Twin Cities um, on Nicollet and uh, picked this up. And then um, last year, through the miracle of the internet, I uh, messaged one of the guys in the band and I'm like, hey, you were in Loose Rails. And then he, he responded with, why? <laughs> like, you know, like, uh, and I explained, well, you know, back in 92, you guys came to King's Court in uh, Sioux City, Iowa and played. And I, I used to work there. I was the weenie boy. I used to sold pop and hot dogs and uh, donuts in the kitchen up uh, upstairs. Or it wasn't upstairs. It was like the main level. Um, the bands played in the basement. It was uh, an old school. And the bands played in the old uh, gym slash uh, auditorium so there like there was a stage on one end and uh, for like the school plays and shit but you know that's where the bands played in the basement and uh, you know so anyways uh, the guy like totally remembered um, that night in Sioux C uh, 30 some years ago and uh, you know he's like funny you should mention this like we kind of got back together we, we kind of, you know, we, we've been uh, doing some reunion dates and uh, whatever. And, you know, um, and I said, you know, like, I lamented the fact that this only ever came out on CD and cassette. And it, they never put it on vinyl. And I, I told them, you know, I own Sue. Uh, you know, I put out records. And, uh, like, at that point... Uh, I think I had like six or seven records out at, at that point and I told them you know I'd love to put this out on vinyl finally um, after you know 31 30 however many years and uh, so anyways we went about doing it and uh, they, you know they remixed it and uh, it has a slightly different sound to it than what this sounds like um you know if you guys really know this record you'll notice some of the remix stuff sounds a little bit different um but you know not not noticeably not bad or whatever and uh so anyways uh they they gave me the, the recordings and we sent it off to press and um you know because at Sue, we silk screen the covers. We we don't have inkjet, uh, photo, whatever uh, covers. Uh, you know, like our covers are one or two colored silk screen, and uh, you know, like we just we don't have the limitations of silk screen. Silk screen is really cool, but there's limitations to it, and um, so we got a different cover on this thing, and this is what it looks like. Um, so this is coming out today. This, I'm packing it up like everybody's put in a pre order. I'm uh packaging it up tonight and uh, it's going to hit the post office tomorrow. Um, the band will have their copies uh this week. So, anyways, uh, this is you know, and this is silk screen, you can feel the silk screen on the cover. Um, you know, so loose rails, red turns green. Here's the back cover, um, you know, uh, cityscape shot of, you know, downtown Minneapolis, whatever. And, uh, you know, so you got song titles, your uh, credits, uh, you know, whatever. And then obviously this is a Sioux, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, super stoked about this. And uh, so what you get in this... Um, one, the band got stickers made up. They wanted stickers put in the record, so I put the stickers in. 
And then the band had liner notes made up. Uh, you know, here, here's the original cover. Um, here's some covers uh, right there of 45. Um, over here is another 45 cover, you know. Uh, this one, Jerk, I, I never had Jerk. I, I've got this 45 and this 45. But, uh, you know, so, um, and, you know, I did have this uh, glossy 8x10 uh, way back when they handed that out. So, anyways, uh, they made up the liner notes. They made up the stickers. I just put them in. And, like, all the Sioux records. Uh, it's 180 gram white vinyl. Um, you know, so they're hand numbered on the A side. So here's my copy, number one of 300. And, uh, you know, so, anyways, um, super stoked to put this out. Uh, you know, there, there's some hot shit coming out on Sue right now. Um, you know, it, like, yeah, I believe in these bands. I won't be putting these fu these fucking bands out if I didn't believe in them. But at the same time, it, like, they're just fucking killer bands. You know, like, um, last week, put out the Gorilla Teens album, which fucking rocks. If you don't have the Gorilla Teens yet, you better get one. Um, you know, the week before that, put out the new Rebel Flesh LP, which... Um, called More Than Rock and Roll, which uh, the Rebel Flash and the Loose Rails together, holy shit, it'd be a hot ticket. Um, you know, because these guys are, we got that really melodic Minneapolis twin tone sound. They weren't on twin tone, but they, like, you know, the sound of twin tone in Minneapolis disseminated amongst a, a lot of the bands you know um you know a lot of the bands had that uh, twin tone sound even uh, like these guys were never a twin tone band but they had that sound that minneapolis uh sound which um you know i i dig you know i mean i grew up on that shit at king's court uh you know 30 some 35 years ago uh you know like we got a lot of Minneapolis bands down all the time. Uh, the Magnolias, were basically, we th we kind of thought of the Magnolias as being a fucking local band. They were in Sioux City that much, and uh, you know, so the Magnolias were great. Uh, these guys, you know, all kinds of fucking great bands used to come down from Minneapolis. Um, super stoked to have, you know, these guys on the label. Uh, you know. Sue is definitely a growing label, uh, label. and um, I just got notification that uh, the Mono Deluxe record, which this is fucked up, the Mono Deluxe record is supposed to be number 13 SUX 013 uh, is the catalog number on that. Uh, that that should have been out, but uh, you know for some reason like. Rebel Flash, Gorilla Teens, and this came out before the uh, uh, Mono Deluxe. Mono Deluxe is shipping. It's me right now. I'll get them sleeved up and ready to ship within the next week. And uh, so probably this time next week, we'll be doing, you know, another record release for Mono Deluxe, which is a fucking killer band. But uh, anyways... Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I really have fond memories of this band. And, you know, uh, and, and more so the, the cassette. But the, the, the cassette, I really have, you know, um, year, year, years and years ago, I, I had a banana yellow Chevy Love pickup. And if you guys don't know what a Chevy Love is, uh, b before they had the S10, Chevy... Uh, in the late seventies and early eighties had the Chevy love, which was a, a mini pickup that, uh, was actually built by a Zuzu. Like there was probably 17 places, uh, under the hood on the dash, uh, you know, in the door jams, uh, whatever there what badging that said, uh, made by a Zuzu for Chevrolet. And, uh, so uh, it, it was a Chevy badge, the Zuzu pickup that, uh, you know, was the precursor to the S10. But uh, anyways, uh, I had a, a banana yellow 80, 1980 Chevy Love pickup that, uh, 
you know, had my Sony tape deck and I'd listen to this looser and I, I'd take girls out, uh, you know, either up to uh, Grandview Park or Stone Park to make out, uh, you know, or uh, Floyd Monument or whatever to make out with the girls. And I'd have the, this loose rails, red turns green in the tape deck. And uh, so, it, yeah, I mean, uh, great, great record. And I'm, I'm glad to be putting it out finally on vinyl, um, you know. Sue doesn't really want to be a reissue uh, type place or whatever. I mean, but this really isn't a reissue because, uh, you know, it never was issued on vinyl. It was only on CD and cassette. So super stoked about it. Um, the song I'm going to play you is uh, third song on Second Side called I Need You. So uh, I hope you dig it. Uh, you could order one of these in the link in the description and uh probably pick them up at uh at roadrunner records in the twin cities the band will have some copies up in the twin cities so uh the pre-orders are getting put together tonight and mailed in the morning so anyways uh if you dig these videos like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh thanks for watching and uh you know, stay tuned. I mean, uh, Sue's got some killer shit coming out. You know, like I said, Rebel Flesh was it two weeks ago. Last week, Gorilla Teens. This week, Loose Rails. Um, and then I, I know Mono Deluxe is shipping to here, so that, that should be coming in the next week. Uh, 45 from Richard Duguay of Personality Crisis, the Canadian band Personality Crisis. Got 45 of his where Pat Todd plays for Monica on the B-side. Um, you know, so uh, that's cool. That's coming. Um, I got a band from, uh, a, a fuzz band uh, from Valencia, Spain uh, called Sonic Angels, which is coming. Uh, super stoked about those guys. Uh, we got Wrong Beach, which, you know, is a Rick Agnew band. Um, it's great. I fucking love Wrong Beach. Um, AJ, who sings for the Wrong Beach, is, is a real mensch. Uh, I, I love AJ. I've stayed at his place out in L Long Beach, and, uh, you know, he's a great guy. Um, you know, he's the guy who introduced me and my wife to Roscoe's uh, Chicken Waffles, which, uh, God bless, I mean, best fucking restaurant in uh, Southern California, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. But uh, anyways, uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. Order a copy of this from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bring a neutron basket.